Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. The download speed from the FreeBSD servers when I actually downloaded 11.3 was very decent, as you can see. Uh, the maximum I got was 25, uh, 23.7, which is not bad at all. Uh, there have been complaints in the past about slow FreeBSD uh, servers, but I've not encountered them on this occasion. Very nice. Even though I use uh, the 12 branch now, I can see that the appeal that the 11 branch will still have with some people, that maybe they don't want to upgrade the server or they don't want to um, really get out of the 11 branch because for them it's been more successful. Or maybe they even have trouble with the 12. I mean, you know, these things do happen. But some of the highlights for this release is uh, Clang, LLVM, LLD, LLDB, and the compiler utilities, as well as libc++, have been updated uh, to version 8.0.0, which is always nice to have. There's been an update for the ELF uh, toolchain, which is now at re release 3.6.1.4. OpenSSL has been updated to version 1.0.2s. The ZFS file system has been updated to implement parallel mounting. Very nice. The loader has been updated to extend Geli to support all architectures, which is also very nice. There's been an update to the PKG utility. And for those who want to know, the two main desktops uh, environments, KDE and GNOME, well, KDE has been updated to version 5.15.3. And GNOME has been updated to version 3.2a. Now, both of these will be, uh, well, not at the latest via the package um, tree. But if you go for ports, then I know, because I'm running uh, KDE 5.16 or something like that. So it, they're a little bit behind, but not too bad. I mean, it's comparable to really to, uh, to the recent release of uh, Debian. Uh, it doesn't go into specifics, but it said there's been several feature additions and updates to userland applications, several network driver firmware updates. Uh, the kernel will now log the jail ID when logging a process exit. And that's really just the highlights um, of this. I'll leave a link down below for um, the full release notes. Uh, the release is available on DVD, uh, CD, uh, memory stick, mini memory stick, it's interesting, and SD card images. And also, 3BSD 11.3 uh, is available on uh, cloud hosting platforms such as Amazon EC2. It's also available on Google's Compute Engine. And what I particularly love about 3BSD is that they still very much do 32-bit ISOs. So for those who maybe want a 32-bit system, there's none of the shenanigans that you got with a particular Linux distribution recently. 3BSD will support you unequivocally. I'm just looking at the uh, ISO images. There's AMD64, i386, PowerPC, PowerPC64, Spark64, uh, Arch 64 ARM6 for the Banana Pie, for the BeagleBone, the CubiBoard, CubiBoard2, Cubox Humming Board, for the uh, Raspberry Pi B, Raspberry Pi 2, the Panda Board, the wand board, I love some of these names are brilliant. Uh, there's no Raspberry Pi 4 news as yet, but I should imagine it won't be long. And AMD 64, i8386, and ARCH 64, which is ARM 64, really. Um, virtual machine disk images. So it's pretty comprehensive. Um, FreeBSD does tend to support a lot of architectures, not as many as NetBSD, of course. Um, but not too bad, not too bad. And they, I think it's not going to change for a, a long time yet. And as always, uh, based on the new FreeBSD support model, FreeBSD 11 release series will be supported until the, at least September the 30th, 2021, or three months after FreeBSD 11.4, if applicable. And if you're still running 11.2, then support for that will run out in October the 31st, 2019. So it's always a good idea to try and upgrade if you can. 
And that's it. I would love to have done a full review of this, but I haven't got a spare drive. Um, I, I don't feel like I can do a full review unless I use it for a week. And I'm running 12 on my main system anyway. So the best I could do and uh, is just give a quick overview of the changes. If you're running 11.2, upgrade. Otherwise, you know, carry on as you are. All right, then. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.